Hi, thank you for joining me. EFT tapping is a powerful tool. However, most people have many layers of energy that can take a lot of repetition to clear it all. So I like to use multiple tools to clear all of the energy layers that a lot of people can have. I learned how to do these energy clearing statements from an intuitive life coach by the name of Christy Marie Sheldon. First, what we have to do is connect to the light. <clears throat> After we connect to the light, we do the energy statements, and all you have to do is agree with the energy statements. You can also say the words out loud if it helps you to agree with it more firmly or um, if it helps you to make it more real to you. Um, so all you have to do is say clear or delete and transmute it. Um, <clears throat> You can just repeat some of those words with me, and then that'll give it more emphasis to it, too. So you agree with the statements more, more strongly, and it'll help you clear it a little bit better. Um, otherwise, it's okay to just do it silently in your head as well. That's fine, too. So you can listen to this multiple times, and in fact, you're encouraged to do so because it clears more layers. <clears throat> A lot of people have very, very deep layers of energy, and it takes multiple things and multiple times to clear all of the energy. So even the EFT, <clears throat> excuse me, even the EFT tapping can take multiple times to clear some of the layers. Um, but I like to do multiple modalities, multiple techniques, so that it's not just the EFT tapping, but also I do other types of things like these energy statements which helps to clear more and more of those layers, which often run very deep. So um, <clears throat> so feel free to listen to this as many times as you need to. Uh, so let's connect to the light. This is what you do when you connect to the light. And it's good to connect to the light as many times throughout the day as much as possible to the point where you're actually always connected to the light all throughout the day. And that's a very, very good thing. So um, as much as possible, connect to the light as many times as, as possible throughout the day. Um, but especially when doing these energy clearing statements, because these energy clearing statements work a lot better when you are expanded in your energy field and you are completely connected and supported by the light. <clears throat> So let's connect to the light right now. Just look up and see, feel, or perceive the light that is uh, 200 feet above. You know, most people perceive it at that place. 200 feet up in the sky. Just, you know, kind of roll your eyes up and look up. And you. some people see it. Some people feel it. You, or you can just perceive it. Just like you say, I perceive I perceive my computer right now. I perceive my desk. You perceive it. You know that it's there. You sense it. You feel it. You see it. Um, <clears throat> so connect to this light 200 feet up in the sky. Then you bring the light down all through your body and down to the middle of the earth where there is also kind of like a sun, like a ooey gooey middle, warm and fuzzy, loving light in the middle of the earth. Connect to that. And then you bring up that light up to you, to the middle of your heart, and just up to your body. And then you radiate this light, radiate this energy, this consciousness. You radiate this light 360 degrees around you and you keep pushing it out, spreading it out further and further and further and further until you get all the way out to the whole world planet earth so you, that you're an infinite being um pure consciousness so there is no no edges around you really you are consciousness there's no edges around you but um just bring your consciousness perceive it out to the to the outside of planet earth you can go as far out as you want um, but for these purposes, that's about all we need. Just be expanded. The more expanded you are and stay, um, the easier it is to clear your energy. All of the negative energies that you want to clear, it's going to be so much easier to do so. Okay, so very good. Now that you're connected to the light, um, it'll be easier to clear all the energies. And now we can start saying these energy statements.
Okay, let's start doing the energy statements. Everything creating fear of letting your guard down. Uncreated, deleted, and transmuted across all time, space, dimensions, and realities. Everything connected to your mother and your mother's bloodline. Creating all fear of letting your guard down. Uncreated, deleted, and transmuted across all time, space, dimensions, and realities. Everything connected to your father and your father's bloodline. Creating all fear of letting your guard down. Uncreated, deleted, and transmuted across all time, space, dimensions, and realities. Everything creating your need to shield and protect yourself. Uncreated, deleted, and transmuted across all time, space, dimensions, and realities. Everywhere you're afraid to be vulnerable. Uncreated, deleted, and transmuted across all time, space, dimensions, and realities. Everywhere you're afraid to be your true self around other people. Uncreated, deleted, and transmuted across all time, space, dimensions, and realities. Everywhere you're afraid of getting hurt. Uncreated, deleted, and transmuted across all time, space, dimensions, and realities. Everything creating all your fears. Uncreated, deleted, and transmuted across all time, space, dimensions, and realities. Everywhere you experienced negative consequences in the past when you let your guard down. Uncreated, deleted, and transmuted across all time, space, dimensions, and realities. Now let's do the what would it take statements. What would it take statements are affirmations and energy statements that help to open the door to manifesting something different. Uh, all you have to do is agree with them. It, it basically tells the universe to just show it up for you. What would it take for you to feel safe being vulnerable? <clears throat> Everything in the way of that, uncreated, deleted, and transmuted across all time, space, dimensions, and realities. What would it take for you to feel safe letting your guard down? Everything in the way of that, deleted, uncreated, and transmuted across all time, space, dimensions, and realities. What would it take to be the fullest expression of yourself? Everything in the way of that, deleted, uncreated, and transmuted across all time, space, dimensions, and realities. What would it take to feel safe? Everything in the way of that, uncreated, deleted, and transmuted across all time, space, dimensions, and realities. Okay, that's all for now. Thank you for watching. See you next time.